In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can start using Zoppy for your Shopify dropshipping store. Now, this is going to be a very quick and simple video showing you how to download this app, as well as how to set it up and start using it today. So make sure you watch this video all the way to the end, so you don't miss any important steps. So the first thing you need to do is to open up your Shopify dashboard, and from there, we can go to the search bar at the top. We can then type in Zoppy, and we'll be able to see this app at the top, which we can click on. We then get taken to this page and this is actually how we can download Zoppy. So the first thing you need to do is to install it. So we can go ahead and click this install button here. And from there, that will take you to this page. It tells you what the app needs to access. And as long as you're happy with all this, we can go ahead and click install. Once you've done that, you will have now installed Zoppy into your store. From there, we'll actually get taken to this page and here's where we can see all of the pricing plans. So the three most common ones they have is the starter plan, which is $10 a month. They have the basic plan, which is $20 a month, and then they have the advanced plan, which is $50 a month. They actually tell you all the things which are included in this plan, so you need to find whichever one suits you best. However, if none of these three are good enough for you, they also have two more down here. One of them is completely free, which is great to try it out, and the other one is $200 a month, and this is for big businesses who outgrow the advanced plan. However, if you're just getting started and you wanted to try it out for yourself, we can come down to the free plan and we can choose choose this plan. So from there, we get taken to this page and it gives us this quick start tab. And this is a useful menu to help you get started with Zoppy. So after you've chosen your plan, it will tell you to find and import products. So in order to do that, we have to click import product and we can then either browse for products on this section or we can enter an AliExpress or CJ dropshipping euro in here or we can just search for a product. Now, let's just say I come across this bracelet, which I wanted to sell. In order to import this into our store, we can simply click add to import list and it will then tell you how the product's been added. So what we can do from there is go to the left hand side and click on product center and we can now see the product which we just added. So in order to actually get this on our Shopify store, we can go to the right hand side and click this upload button and that will actually push it to the store. So you can tick over these boxes if you want as well and then we can push it to our store. From there, if we go back to this quick start section, we would have now completed step two and three. So the final thing that we have to do is actually sell this product and then we can fulfill the orders and we can update the tracking. So once you do have an order, we can come to this section and we can click fulfill order and we'll be able to find all of our orders in here. Now, as you can see, I haven't actually got any orders yet. However, if you were to sell some of this product, you'll be able to find it in this section and you'll be able to use Zoppy to help you fulfill this order and you'll also be able to update the tracking so that your customer knows when it is going to arrive to their house. But other than that, that's the basics of how you can get started using Zoppy for your Shopify dropshipping store. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please comment down below to say it helped you out. Thanks for watching.